Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. All right, guys, so Bitcoin is broke below 19K. It was at 19.1 before I started this video. That might change by the time this video uploads. I think the most important thing happening right now is Bitcoin dominance is going down against altcoins. This is not something that we traditionally see. I mentioned this the other day when Bitcoin dropped down here, that altcoins were holding relatively well compared to Bitcoin, and that is still the case right now. I want to go over some numbers really quick. Bitcoin's down 33% in the last week. Ethereum is down 35%. Helium is flat. All right, ICP is down 10%, Elron 13, Theta 12, Algorand 15, XLM 17, XRP 18. This was a screenshot from CoinMarketCap just a point in time earlier this morning. So possible explanations for this could be companies that are having to liquidate funds um, to be able to pay off certain debts or just because maybe you know they're having liquidity issues they primarily hold Bitcoin and Ethereum as collateral. So this could be a possible explanation as to why this is happening. But, you know, even with that, this just seems strange that alts are not getting hammered more than they are. I, I think, I, I can't tell you what it means. In my, in my opinion, if I had to guess, I would say that it's, it means we're closer to the bottom than we are not. But this could change by the end of the day. This could change by the time I upload this video. Bitcoin could wick down to 17, and then all of a sudden alts drop by 50%. Um, but up until this point, that is where we are. Now, a lot of people about two weeks ago were saying that alts were about to be decimated and that you can't be in alts at a time like this and that they're going to be absolutely slaughtered compared to Bitcoin over the next month, over the next two months during this brutal bear market. And that's not been the case since. Now, a lot of retail investors, and to those people's credit who were saying that, in a traditional scenario, that's probably what would have happened. Historically, that is what happens. But that's the problem with making definitive claims in this space. The only definitive claim that I will make is implementation is going to continue. That's it. Anything, else, anything outside of that, guys, it's up in the air. Um, it's just at, at that point, you just come down to this seems most probable based on historical evidence, based on the data, so on and so forth. But this is the problem with making definitive claims because the people that were pushing that probably got a lot of retail investors to sell their altcoins at a loss to go into Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin has dropped further than what their altcoins would have. So this is just the, the problem with, and guys, this could change, right? By the time I'm done with this video, all these numbers could change. I 100% understand that. Now, I hope they do. All right, I, I hope they do. I've been waiting for a $354 ICP. I've been waiting for a seven or eight cent XLM. So I hope it happens. I'm, I'm, I'm banking on it happening, um, but it hasn't happened up until this point. And I just think that this is worth mentioning. Now, it, it could just be an organic situation unfolding. I don't think that it is. I think that what's happening right now with Bitcoin dominance and what's happening with altcoins is not by accident. That's just my opinion. Uh, because, you know, for all the talk about all these liquidations, I'm not talking about the leverage trading liquidations. I'm talking about things like Three Arrows Capital. Supply is still going down. Now, supply can very easily shoot up if lots of Bitcoin have to be brought back on exchanges like with the Luna situation. All right. And that very well may happen. I'm just saying that it hasn't happened until this point. When we saw the Luna situation, we saw a lot. And that's why I had no real beef with that, because I could see it. I could see the Bitcoin coming back on exchanges to sell. So I was like, all right, that makes sense. Price should be going down. Now, it wicked up during that time period, and it's gone all the way back down to where it was before the Luna, uh, for the Luna crash and before the Luna liquidation. So I just want to make that point for all these people who are like, everybody's bringing Bitcoin back on exchanges. All the whales, the whales are all bringing their Bitcoin back on exchanges. Where's the evidence of that? In aggregate, supply is going down. So, and I posted this in my community tab where whale holdings have been going up. Now that is about five or six days old. So that could have changed over the last week. In my opinion, it's 
we're probably going to find out that whale holdings have continued to gone up. See, guys, what they want to do, this is important. What they want to do is they want to, and I said this to a couple of y'all last night, they want to implement their new system. They want to tell you that they're implementing their new system. They want to show you that they're doing it. And then they want to convince you to sell them your crypto back at a loss and exchange your crypto for dollars that they're destroying. So that's what they wanna do, all right? They wanna implement this, tell you they're doing it, show you they're doing it, but then convince you that you need to sell your crypto back to them and exchange it for dollars which they're destroying. So that's, <laughs> when you think about it, it's, it's, it's crazy, it really is. Um, but that's, that's the situation that we're in. So uh, miners have been net buyers here recently. So they were net sellers and there were a lot of conversations going on when that was happening that this was being done to shore up their balance sheet because their profitability was becoming less and less because the cost of mining and the price of Bitcoin were you know, going in you know, pretty much the wrong directions that they need them to go. Uh, so as the cost of mining goes up, you would hope the price of Bitcoin is continuing to go up or at least holding, not going down. This is just cutting into their profitability that could exp could have explained some of the selling. Regardless, over the last seven to 10 days, miners have been net buyers. All right. So that's that. Now, the three arrows situation. You're Who knows? Who knows? Uh, who knows? And, and, you know, because... For all the people that are being, going to be like, well, these companies are going to be liquidated and they have to, and they have to sell every that, that could be hundred percent be true, could hundred percent be true. Uh, I'm just telling you, supply is going down, so I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, you know, w when when situations like this happen and, and, and you know there's potential liquidations with crypto companies, you know, people automatically associate that okay, price is going to go down, right? Because they're going to have to bring a lot of Bitcoin back on exchanges and sell, hundred percent. Uh, absolutely. I, I'm just saying that why doesn't the reverse ever be assumed when supply is collapsing? It, it, it's just so crazy. It really is. I, I don't know what people think needs to happen for price to go up, right? Like, I, I don't know what, what people are looking at to determine when price goes up. I really don't. <laughs> Seriously. Because every metric that you would want to look at to be able to determine that is pretty much flashing all over the place. Um, Every bottom metric, every on-chain metric that you would want to look at, all of that looks pretty solid. Um, but separately, you have the issues with Three Arrows and some of the other companies in crypto and the ripple effects that could have. So, guys, anything can happen, right? Anything could happen. Um, anything can happen. And Three Arrows can be liquidated and there still be more net accumulation than there is net selling. And we'll be able to see, we'll be able to see based on, we'll be able to look back in a few weeks and be able to see what was happening. We'll be able to look back in a few weeks and say, okay, over the last month, did supply decrease, did supply increase? Did whale holdings increase, did they decrease? We'll be able to look at all these different metrics and who was actually selling, was it long-term holders? Was it just people who bought Bitcoin a few weeks ago? Was it retail? Was it whales? Whatever it may be. All I know is that the largest Bitcoin whale, and this was in my community tab, has been accumulating. I think he bought 20 million Bitcoin recently. The third largest whale is just buying regularly on a daily basis, regardless of what the price is. Now, there are periods of times where he has sales, but in aggregate, it's accumulation. So Purpose ETF, their supply has been going up. So, you know, I know there's just tons of selling, guys. I know there's just so much selling and so many people are getting rid of their Bitcoin. I'm just saying that supply is going down. And there's numerous different large entities, whales and institutional entities, where they're accumulating. These are just facts. This is just data. I'm not saying that there's no selling going on. There obviously would have to be to kick off liquidations. You have to sell some spot to be able to kick off liquidations. But supply is going down. So that's that. Um, that's really all I have, guys. Sorry, this was not that valuable or, or you know, not, nothing great, no great insight to share with you today. Uh, I think that what's happening with Bitcoin dominance is significant. And I think that the call that altcoins were going to be too risky and that they were going to be absolutely annihilated at this point in time, at this point in time, this could change, could change today. 
but at this point, not looking like a great call. And it's not looking like a great call. Now guys, I, I hold Bitcoin and Ethereum too, okay? So I'm not like rooting against anything. I'm just stating the reality of, of what's happened because of how strong the messaging was two weeks ago that the opposite of what has just happened was going to happen, All right? So that's that. Um, that's all I have for this video. I, I gave you my numbers, guys. Those are my price points I, I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for at least a $4 ICP. I'm waiting for a eight cent, seven to eight cent XLM. And I'm pulling trigger. So hopefully, hopefully that happens. So again, guys, if, if alts do get slammed, I hope that happens. There's no reason to come back at me and like, so see, I told you, I, I hope that happens, okay? Especially if Bitcoin's going, and Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to be down like this, I would, you know, appreciate to have the alts down further because I'm going to buy regardless. So that's that. That's all I have for this video. Thank you, everyone who has liked, share, and subscribe. Take care. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.